More than 90,000 people in these five counties, including most of Sumner County, are in for quite the eye opener tonight. Wait until you see how much you are paying the board members of your electric company. The News 4 I team's Nancy Amons did the math for how much they make for a single day's work. Tennessee in the 1930s. Electric companies didn't serve the rural areas, so the neighbors set up their own electric co-ops. Well, today some of the board members of those co-ops are paid and paid very well. Wow. Wendy Young's reaction when we showed her what her own electric co-op paid one of its board members. $481 an hour. An hour. That is insane. Cumberland Electric Membership Co-op pays its board members a per diem every time they go to a monthly meeting. I asked General Manager Chris Davis, what's the daily rate? It's around $800. Say that again? $800 per meeting. Did you say $800 per meeting? I did. And that's the starting pay. Board members who have more training make more. So what's the top end? Well, I'm not comfortable saying how much at this point. $800 per day. Holy moly! No! My husband didn't get that when he was a government contractor going back and forth to Iraq and Afghanistan. No! Three Cumberland Electric board members made more than $40,000 each in 2017. They reported working between 9 and 12 hours a week. One board member who made $25,000 reported working one hour a week. Do the math. That's $481 an hour. I really like that one hour a week job. Can you tell me how to find how, how to apply for that? Because I'd really like to do that. That they get paid more than I get paid as a state senator or not. Senator no. Kerry Roberts no. is a Cumberland Electric customer himself. It surprised me, and some of these people are friends of mine, but it did surprise me about the amount of money being paid. And, and I just jokingly said it pays more than being a state senator, so uh, it did, you know, I, I wasn't expecting that. Roberts wants co-ops to have more transparency about their salaries and their spending. The average pay for Cumberland board members, $29,350 each. That's nearly double the national average of $15,080, according to the co-op's own trade association. If you're wondering, NES is not a co-op. It's owned by the city of Nashville, but its board members don't get paid anything. The total budget for the Cumberland board, about half a million dollars a year. Money that comes from electric customers like Wendy Young. Money she thinks could help families who struggle to pay their monthly bills. They could, again, give it, put it in a fund for people that need help. Board members also go to training out of town, sometimes even out of state. And yes, they're paid for that too. Nancy Amons for the News 4i team.